the day 57 makes us ponder about the subtlest and the cause for the all causes which is quite subtle with some hetus with certain examples he makes us to think and contemplate that which governs beyond all the gods that we see or whatever we are undergoing we say it is because of this it is because of that it is my karma it is my prarabdha isn't it but here there is a wonderful question that is asked for us to think it goes like this vidhi nirmitam lihito sarvabali ari lihito ko natyache kapali avu jalito loka samhara kali ಇನ್ಸ್ಕ್ರಿಪ್ಷನ್ ಆನ್ ಅವರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಎಟ್ ಟು ಹೌ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಅಂಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಅವರ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಫೇರ್ಸ್ ಜೂರಿಂಗ್ ಲೈಫ್ some people go for palmistry they show their palms some go for numerology others go for horoscopes kundalini to understand what is written or what will be the fate some go for the face reading isn't it here yeah, that is what he says vidhi nirmitam lihito sarva bali he says here vidhi we should understand that god of brahma we have the trinity brahma vishnu and maheshwara brahma is the creator vishnu is the one who takes care of our life in between the womb and the tomb and shiva is pralaya karta or who takes away our life isn't it so here he says vidhi nirmita lihito sarva bali <coughs> the god brahma the creator he says lido has written something on everybody's forehead correct ayo this is my prarabdha this is my karma this is my vidhi we say here in the next one line the poet asks a question vairi lido ko na yaache kapali here again we understand kapali we know kapali means the skull but here kapala okay but here kapali we understand the forehead this is pari but lihito konat yaache but who rides on the forehead here what we should understand in the sense but who rides on the forehead of brahma because the other day we have seen that brahma is also a designation who comes there for the next kalpa it is hanuman who is that person okay all our fate is been determined by brahma he has written on our forehead but who rides the vidhi the prarabdha or the vidhi or the karma 
on the brahma's forehead who inscribes there who is that who is above brahma think generally we scold our parents i you because of you uh, think परीलीहितो कोनत्याचे कपाली हु राइट्स ऑन द फोरहेड ऑफ ब्रह्म हवु जालितो लोक संहार काली संहार काली सो so, at the end we understand it is shiva who comes who burns everything isn't it haru here is shiva who is with a trident in himalayas to our understanding jali to he burns everything destruction god g o d god g generator brahma isn't it d destructor shiva o is operator vishnu g o d generator operator destructor destroy so shiva burns the world at the time of last age but isn't it hari jalito loka samhara kali it is hari who does this next he continues pari shevati shankara kona jali shankara kona jali shevati at the end who burns lord shiva think brahma the chaturmukha brahma who is the creator who creates the universe all uh, oh, the whole universe that you see you know the galaxies and all everything created by him and he writes the destiny of everything even we know that the, the stars also die correct so he writes the destiny of everything who is that supreme who has written the destiny of lord brahma dev to be contemplated similarly the destroyer is shankar of everything the creator is brahma he has created the whole galaxy and destroyer is shiva even who destroys even the stars the galaxies we know all that who is the one who burns down lord shiva himself mm-hmm. very interesting the other day we have seen about the adityas and the rudras today we are seeing about the trinity what they which is that force which is that power or what is that power which rides the fate of brahma and which destroys lord shiva from one simple sand point you can say if i open my eyes the world is created so i the creator if i close my eyes and if i sleep the whole world is destroyed nothing exists in my mind i am in deep sleep no world destruction so both the creation and the destruction is done by me mm right interesting 
but think who is that who creates the universe who destroys the universe what is that power where does it reside with this question i will conclude here today to catch up tomorrow answer you are supposed to find out we show the path is up to you to draw it thanks for being with calculator